those little paradise gardens is one thing, but as he was saying, yeah. South Bronx and New York, where one in every five men suffer the AIDS virus along with one in every ten women. The figures are worse than parts of Central Africa. AIDS is flourishing here against the backdrop of vast poverty and crime, mainly drug dealing. Only days ago, in broad daylight, a policeman was shot dead in his patrol car. A drugs boss is said to have ordered the murder from his prison cell. In the same neighborhood, vicious pit bull terriers are trained to carry drugs through the streets. This one's owner was off trying to recruit new custom. Nearby, in a ruined building, a young woman who up until recently was a respected nurse prepares to inject heroin into her neck.
The use of contaminated needles has led to over 200,000 addicts in the city contracting the virus. Women seem to be more vulnerable than men. New York-wide, 700 women so far have caught the virus from sex with male drug abusers. This is a far higher figure than the number of men who have become infected through sex with women. No one can yet say how much prostitutes are contributing to the spread of AIDS, but here in this fruit market every day, around 200 women have sex with large numbers of truckers from all over America. Only me and you. 